Hello traders, this is Rich Derrick from TradeSite with the market preview for the coming session, which is going to be Thursday, April 11th, 2013. This current session we had a very, very strong uh, market with the uh, ES putting on about 20 handles in the uh, NASDAQ side, adding on 55. Very strong session with uh, some very good market internals today, for the most part, with uh, advanced declines, you know, plus 1,500 issues on both sides, give or take. So it was definitely a very strong day for the bulls. Um, one curious thing, though, today was the VIX was kind of stubborn and really didn't didn't start to fall up until really the end of the day, uh, which uh, was kind of interesting because it was almost like you know during the beginning of the day the uh, in institutional people were actually acquiring protection as the market was going up because the VIX was essentially flat for most of the day, which is usually the footprints of uh, putting on protection while the market is advancing. So I thought that was definitely one interesting feature today. So let's move on and take a look at the uh, the major charts. All right, so here's a look at the ES futures. We uh, cleared this this recent trading range. That little uh, topping tail didn't really turn out to to mean too much. We're now above the uh, six days level and also clearly above what was the previous range high of this move. Back above all three major moving averages and the uh, MACD is trying to curl back up. It hasn't made a positive cross just yet. We're uh, fairly early in the count here. We're only eight bars up in the in the countdown phase for exhaustion. So if the market so chooses the uh, the seeker. Uh, countdown will not stand in its way to allow this thing to proceed for quite a few more candles before ultimately hitting a an exhaustion point. Key levels overhead are going to be 1593.75, uh, which is the 7.8 level, and the big one is going to come in at 16.25 if we can get up there, which is going to be the 8.8 level. Over the NASDAQ side, that was up about 55 handles today. We uh, clearly broke out above this range. We are above the 8.8 level by a good stretch and we're actually now settled right in the area of the plus one eighth level. This uh, puts the NASDAQ side into the uh, short term overbought area. Next level of uh, resistance is going to be about 28.90, 28.91 which is going to be the plus two eighths on the GAN box. It's a pretty tr protracted area of uh, consolidation here that took place over quite a few weeks. So if the uh, market really wants to release to the upside there has been some energy built into the pattern for it to do so. Now as far as the internals go, the put call ratio is fairly benign here. We're pretty much in the neutral area here with uh, not really any kind of a uh, shot at the uh, overbought or oversold threshold just yet. So plenty of room either way for the market to move. Now our 10 day trend is still in the neutral area. We're kind of right in that 1.0 reading. We've got room to go all the way to 0.85 before we wind up being overbought here on this move. So there's definitely some uh, some gas in the tank to move higher if the market so chooses and if the if the bulls want to continue to put some money into work here. Now our risk on risk off metric, the uh, SPX divided by the TLT, uh, sprinted all the way up to the breakdown line, which was the lower level of this uh, this trend channel. It got there pretty much in uh, in just one session. We were down this area here yesterday. And today's strong move put it right back up to that channel. Now this channel is probably going to be a key area of resistance. We might need kind of a pause day tomorrow if we are going to continue higher. Uh, but we could, if they want, overshoot just a little bit higher to the top of this lateral trading range right here. That's definitely possible. But uh, definitely you know, keep this in mind here as we're, we're uh, kind of getting back up into an area of interest again. The uh, semiconductors were relatively strong today. They put on a little bit, a uh, little bit more on the cross here. So the SOX NDX cross is uh, is definitely getting stronger. Uh, the the SOX, we'll take a look at that chart a little bit later, but they were very strong today. But uh, we still remain remain below this key resistance area here, at about 0 0.16. Have, we haven't looked at this chart in a while. This is the uh, the S and S and P versus the NDX. The NDX is in the white. You can see the NDX is really trying to assert itself here. The uh, the good performance in the semiconductors definitely helps here. If the semiconductors can keep coming on, that would definitely be a big bonus here. Uh, the S&P uh, likes to be led by the NDX, not vice versa. So if the NDX can continue to lead higher here, then I think we got a shot at uh, at some higher prices in the in the broad market as well. But uh, for now, this is definitely a positive development, something that the bulls have been looking for. 
uh, hasn't really quite broken trend yet as far as the uh, as far as the uh, overall overall pattern you can see that we're kind of right up in this area here I haven't really quite broken out above this yet but it's really close so if we can get back above the trend line we're going to be very very much more positive alright here's the trend line I was wanted to put on the chart so it's it's really right up to that cusp we have this touch this is the the origination of it touch a couple of failures here and then we're rocketing back up into that area definitely something that we're going to leave on the chart here and keep track of going forward all right moving on to the individual sectors um, the BTK chief NASDAQ component was very strong was our top gun today uh, the XBD the broker dealers were strong we had a nice long trade today in uh, in Goldman Sachs took that long over the opening bars five minute high uh, had a nice play there also the semiconductors were very strong had some plays there too semiconductors up more than the overall market and also the NDX so that that's finally a, a sign of a positive sign here for the NASDAQ uh, the XAU is the last laggard and some of the other more defensive things were were pretty low down the list utility and utilities is down here uh, the consumer stuff was was down uh, close to the bottom of the list so essentially you know just really pretty much a, a really good you know risk on day for the market it's something that the bulls can build on here's a look at the BTK which is top gun on the day it's gonna be 10 days up now in the uh, in the comer in the uh, secret count try it the MACD is still negative trying to go for a positive cross the next big level is gonna be 1875 which is going to be six ace on the Murray math line. Sox, uh, definitely very, very strong on the day. Got up to the eight ace level at 437.50. If they can clear that, this is this, and keep in mind, this is a very big level. If they can clear that, then the next level is going to be the, uh, the risk line from the uh, secret sell signal. MACD did penetrate underneath the zero line, is trying to go for a uh, positive cross, which would, uh, after being below the zero line, would be uh, a positive cross with a, at least. A decent amount of energy in it to the upside. The oil services index was up about uh, up about one and a half percent. Key thing to keep in mind here is that we're getting uh, we're getting very close to this uh, exhaustion, and when we go to the projection mode, you can see that we now have our 13 exhaustion. Levels. So this is deferred uh, with by these asterisks here because we we didn't have a close above the eight candle which is over here we finally have that now the only thing to keep in mind is that this one three thirteen exhaustion run has almost no extension to the upside here's your one candle closed right here call it call it 246 and then today we're getting our exhaustion here at 252 so we really really made very little upside on this move so while we do have a secret exhaustion here, it, it's kind of suspect because of the lack of extension to the upside. These are the ones that we tend to be a little bit skeptical. Of. BKX was uh, a little bit stronger than the broad, a little bit stronger than the broad market today, but really didn't didn't uh, do anything meaningful technically until it takes out this static trend line. So for now, it's still within the grips of this uh, of this nine bars to the downside. The one positive thing in this chart, though, is that we pivoted back above the eight ace level at 56.25. And we're approaching this risk level. Now remember, it takes nine bars to make the risk level to make the uh, the static trend line. So we did nine bars down. The nine bars are very very shallow, and kind of kind of grudging to the downside. But we're you know turning back up to the upside here with some with some good uh, momentum to the upside and some and some fairly large candles. So we're actually going to be interacting with this static trend line fairly early in the count here, maybe bar three, four, five, and if we do break through it on bar three four or five those are what we call the velocity breakouts and those are the ones that actually tend to have the most punch so we're we did nine bars down and now we're now we're already up to our reference point from those nine bars down fairly early in the count here all right now the xau is the last lagger on the day down uh, three and a half percent almost had something to build on yesterday we closed above or at or above the 10 ema yesterday but didn't get the follow through so trend remains short term positive until we get that follow through uh, we're back down in that key area of support at 125 which is that zero waste level so traders can still look to the long side here when there's when there's setups if you see them you're 
probably not going to get hurt as long as you're not buying them when they're dropping. But there's plenty of oversold energy in, in these uh, in these names. And uh, feel free to uh, take a look at these things on the long side because I know I have been. Well, that's going to be for this evening. And, and as always, thank you for listening. This has been Rich Derek for TradeSite.